A two-state solution is exactly what it says. It would redraw the existing borders and create an Israeli state and a Palestinian state side by side. The roots of it lie in a UN resolution back in 1974. Among other things, it affirmed the Palestinians' right to self-determination without external interference. Over the years, there have been efforts to try to reach that two-state solution. The U.S. has been at the heart of the negotiations. The Oslo Accords, for example, in 1993. The Camp David summit in the year 2000, which ended without an agreement. And that's because there are some big challenges. Where would you draw the border between the two sides? What would you do about the illegal settlements Israel has been building on the West Bank? And what happens to the Palestinian refugees? And Jerusalem. Both sides claim all or part of the city as their capital. Now Israel and the Palestinians blame each other for failing to reach an agreement. So what's the alternative? Well there could be a one-state solution. That would include Israel, the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. Everybody in it would have equal rights. But Palestinians are worried they would lose their national identity and Israelis are concerned they would be outnumbered by Palestinians. The U.S., a long-time ally of Israel's, has been a strong supporter of a two-state solution for decades. But President Trump seems to have indicated that as far as the U.S. is now concerned, two states are no longer the only option.